All right, hello, hello, and welcome back to another weekly wrap up he down here at the U Idaho Esports. Kicking off the week, October 7th, Monday, we had R6 Varsity against University at Buffalo, a win via forfeit. So pretty nice start to yeah. the week. We'll, we'll take them where we can get them. Yeah. Following that, we had Smash Ultimate Varsity getting a 2-0 against Buena Vista. Well, Alpha got a six stock lead in game one and Foggy got a nine stock lead in game two. Some impressive moves there. I was there and casting that one actually mm -hmm. and it, it was really good. There were some tense moments oh, yeah. there just for a few seconds. I think at the end, Foggy only had like one stock. Yes, Foggy only had one stock <laughs> if I'm correct. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> intense. I love seeing those sweeps. Oh yeah. So much fun. Makes life easier sometimes. <laughs> TFT, Hummus, and Doom continued defending their fifth and seventh places, respectively, while Apex results are still to be determined. Moving on to Tuesday, our Varsity Valorant team went up against the University of Albanese and scored a 2-1 to one win. CS2 Varsity won against Niner Esports with a 2-0 to zero sweep, which is pretty dang good. <laughs> yeah, our CS team has been doing very well recently. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys are watching those videos <laughs> with Car Colby and Carson. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter VI, our player Vinny won 4-1 to one against his opponent Sebastroid. And unfortunately, our Overwatch Varsity team lost to alarming university going down zero to three ending on a little bit of a low note but hey we had a pretty good day overall i'd say yeah i mean it happens yeah we, we have, have our own days off days wednesday was not really that great of a day <laughs> to be completely honest <laughs> it was a day varsity lost a seven game series to mount aloysius <sighs> college three to four and I nearly <laughs> cried. <laughs> it was it was to overtime too. Twice. We uh. went into two overtime <laughs> games, lost both overtime games. It was so close though. <laughs> Our varsity team definitely did their best, but yeah. that broke my heart to be completely honest. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> and JV1 didn't do much better going 0-4 oh. to Bridgewater. Ooh. Team two, however, we, we got a bit of good news here. Hey. Green Hill <laughs> lost 2-0 uh, to our Vandals. So, woo! Woohoo! <laughs> CSJV went up against Rochester Institute and got a 1-2 to two loss. So, yay. <laughs> no, that's not a yay. I can't, I can't even put a positive spin on that. We're, we're trying over here. <laughs> we're working with it. <laughs> However, Varsity did get a 2-0 win against Niner Esports. Overall, not that great of a day. Yeah, I mean. But it happened. We all have our off days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on Thursday, back up with Rocket League, our Varsity team faced Idaho State University and unfortunately lost 1-3. Varsity Rocket League is having some off times. Into ISU, too. <sighs> <laughs> Unfortunate, but hey, it happens. Uh, Street Fighter VI's Mighty Bang lost 0-4 to to Goofy FGC from the University of Southern South Florida. And our Fortnite Varsity team finished bottom of the rankings for their match. We're, we're having some issues this week. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> but ending Thursday on a high note, our sole Hearthstone player in Thesis brought some great news. We really needed it on Thursday by defeating his opponent Sweet T1127 with a score three to one. Solid plays there. Some pretty solid plays. Friday, our eSports lab had our third ever Joe's Inferno with special guest stars Robert Hansen, Megan Jones, and Clint Emmett. We loved having them here, and we loved having them participate in such an amazing event run by our very own Summer Muster. Yes, it was a lot of fun. I was there helping with film crew, and it was very interesting to get to learn about a little bit about their jobs and everything. Yeah, so if you guys want to learn more about, like, function that's the school what programs are going on yeah. the people that run them or just like in general the school please check out joe's inferno our uh our staff and the asu i uh really work hard on uh, 
those videos. So yeah, check those out. We put a lot of love into those. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lots of blood, sweat, and tears there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any blood yet, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen it yet. Yup. <laughs> Uh, continue on. We had our League of Legends teams with mixed results. Varsity got a forfeit win while JV lost one to two. And I was actually there for the JV game one before, you know, footage cut out and we couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, really? But first game was like an absolute curb stomp on their oppo our opponents. So I was oh. thinking, oh, we're going to do fine. <laughs> no, they turned around <laughs> real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> so, sorry to JV. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. And uh, Sandman and Mighty Bang in Tekken claimed victory. 4-0 for both of them. So, we end the week on a high note. That's great. That's after, what to think of. <laughs> after that week, we kind of needed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll be the whole weekly wrap-up from the 7th to the 4th. 11th. 11th. <laughs> From the 7th to the 11th. And we're happy that you guys came and joined us for this. And we love it when you guys join us on our stream or down in the Pittman Center in person. We'll, we're in the basement. Big sign. We actually have directions now. So Yay! you can follow those. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for checking in with the week. These up. <laughs>